I don't think I've ever been more grateful for AC. Stay safe out there. Now, let's talk about this knife that you folks bullied me into reviewing. <laughs> What is up folks, Justin Kana here. This video is brought to you by the awesome team over at New West Knife Works. And I semi joke about the bullying piece because Mike from New West said, which one of the knives in our catalog between the serrated ones, the G Fusion ones, the Ironwoods, the chef knives, the pairing knives, which one would you like to try? And I had made a decision. I had my pick. I knew which one I wanted to make a video on, but I did the unboxing. I posted the video in the community and I did a little poll to see which one of these that I unboxed would you folks want to see a video on. And this one is what you wanted to see. So this is the eight inch G Fusion chef knife in the Shoshone colorway. I've been using this at home just to cook meals for Anna and I. Plus I've done probably six or seven online cooking classes with this bad boy because that's the majority of the cooking that I've been doing in pandemic times. And I had the sincere pleasure of not only visiting their flagship store in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, but also the forge where these are hand finished. And this is what I want to share with you. So this knife at the time of this video comes in eight colors. They are mostly all in this style, the kind of banded 70s color palette where they take G10, which is an aerospace grade fiberglass epoxy composite, perform a little sandwich artistry, and then they grind it down with these custom CNC machines to get this layered effect, which I have to imagine after driving through it is probably influenced by the mountains that they're surrounded by. And it was kind of a trip because as we got closer and closer to Jackson Hole, I was like, Oh, I'm seeing where the inspiration is coming from. I want to stay on the handle for a little bit longer. We are brass pinned in two spots and it's really nimble in profile. None of the sides of this, if I were to put my thumb up, it's basically the, the width of my thumb, whether you do it on the side or on the top. And as for shape, you get a little bit of a chunkier bit where your hand is going to grip and then a swoop down towards the bottom, towards the back of the handle. When we were at the forge, we were actually getting a rundown of that G10 material and it's insane how durable it is. Corey was telling us that you could literally leave this on the plancha or leave it submerged underwater and come back and it would just be like, what? They first see and see the handles to get the shape, but everything else is hand finished. So like all this kind of smoothness you see along the blade. And for chefs, they really appreciate that because that'll be the difference between kind of getting blisters or calluses and just like this little angle of difference, especially if you do the proper pinch grip, which I don't, I'm much more of a butcher <laughs> when it comes to, but it's those little design details. So we've got insane durability here, more popular in the pocket knife realm, and you don't have to baby this. You get way more color options than something like wood. And if you're looking for a lifetime knife, this is what we like. Some more design details. If you remember me being a fan of the incredibly smooth finish on the Aura 2, this mirrors that with those hand finished details to make sure the full tang and the handle attachment points are super buttery smooth. And you absolutely feel that seamlessness when you pick up this knife right away. You can just say I twirled that in my hand. Before we get into the steel, and I'm really bad at remembering to do this as the YouTubers go, if you're enjoying this video so far, please drop a like, subscribe if you dig other knife showcase style content because there's a huge backlog of those videos, just like this one. It really helps more folks like you find the channel and that's it, thanks a ton. So let's go into the steel. Heading into the blade now, we are rocking a Crucible CPM S35 VN super high carbon stainless powder steel. Corey Milligan, who heads up the forge, was sharing with me on our tour that he's got almost 20 years of experience all over the world with steels, making knives in Italy, Seki Japan, here stateside, and this steel gives them the incredible combination of one, consistency in production, two, hardness at 59 to 60 HRC, and three, that practical affordability so they don't have to make these in tiny batches where I make a video like this and none of you can get it because it's not in stock. If S35VN steel and G10 as a handle material get you kind of excited and you like to nerd out about that, I've left some really cool reading materials in the description if you want to go deeper. Talking about the grind on the blade itself, it's insane. You have to see it from the heel towards the tip to truly appreciate it. All of the details I love are here from the beveled spine. I think most of you folks know that I really love that touch makes it way more ergonomic. We've also got beveling on the underside. If there's people who uh, don't tend to gravitate towards a pinch grip, or even if you, the index uh, part of your finger tends to hit that when you're doing the pinch grip, I think it's really important that those details get covered and that did not get missed on this. 
In other things that Justin likes, we've got the sharpenable heel. This doesn't have a big chunky bolster. We have a thinned out tip, but it's still stiff, so you don't get any flex when you're kind of doing more delicate work on something like bones or any kind of vegetables that, you know, you're doing more fine scoring work. And I'll say it again, the weight and the balance is on point. I think I described this as feeling like a sports car when I unboxed it for exactly that reason. This might be the one. Wow. This feels like a sports car. All these little finishing moves are a huge part of the hand finishing process at New West. And some small details that just get etched into the knife include the New West logo, the steel type, and a friendly reminder where your knife was made on the other side. One last quick fun fact, you might notice that the blade profile on this, it's actually seven and three quarter inches. And that's really not that tall either. So most of you that have been watching the channel for a while might see where I'm going to as a leading point where I'm gonna transition to my experience and what it's like to use. Okay, so I like using slicers for prep, and a lot of you seem to be perplexed by that, and if you truly don't like that, this knife might not be for you, but it's such a nimble, close to the board knife, and I love it. Please just check out the knuckle clearance here. Sharpening this wasn't the quickest experience, but in a good way. I truly felt like I could get a solid edge on this, working it through the full gamut of whetstones from 1,000 to 3,000 to 6,000, and then I would do some light newspaper stropping at the end. Plus, because it's got a 50-50 bevel ratio, that keeps things sturdy and sharp for a surprisingly long time. Touching on the weight quickly, it's very forgiving, solid balance. I never felt like this was a cumbersome knife, and I can only imagine that the same applies to a six to eight hour prep session, right? But if you for some heft to your knives, this specific knife from New West might not be for you. A thought that I had as I saw this and unboxed this and started to use it, I was a little bit nervous for, was these squared off handle pieces heading into the bolster. These aren't beveled and I thought that this was gonna be uncomfortable to hold. This actually doesn't touch much of your fingers when you're using or holding this. And so the other piece that I was, you know, thinking that it was gonna be a problem with was getting food stuck in here. And the attachment point is so well connected and because this, the G10 doesn't swell or expand or contract. I haven't had any issues uh, with mine the entire time that I've been using it. Next up and the last piece is who is this for and should you buy it? All right, if I was still in restaurants and I needed a, let's call it a hybrid knife where I could butcher some fish, but then simultaneously go into chopping mushrooms or chiffonading sorrel and then going right into carving grilled pork chops off the bone, those of you that work stations with some range, you know what I mean, this would have absolutely been a no-brainer pickup. It's got the length for tight spaces because it's nice and short, and then the blade profile to be super versatile. You can carve protein with this, you can butcher, you can do veg prep, it has a huge range. This might be for folks with small hands too, for really that's what she said reasons. This doesn't feel like an eight inch chef knife. And I know I've shared on the channel before, I prefer bigger knives, but it's the same reason that a 10 inch chef knife has me like the Drake meme, but then a 9.4 inch knife is like, and the last person that comes to mind is the person who just doesn't gravitate towards the wa style Japanese inspired handles or that very vanilla black Western style handle, right? These knives are instantly recognizable. And if you've been frustrated that knives with personality haven't been made with high quality materials, this is your solution. I realize I haven't brought up price yet. This retails at $349, which is one thing in itself. And another thing when you really break it down, the quality of steel, the G10 handles, that's of course one aspect of it. But the setup that New West has at the forge is absolutely amazing. So effectively, individual talented knife makers get to come in and work on these knives, they get to pioneer their own blade making techniques on the side, and earn a living doing what they love on a flexible schedule. They've kept everything going even during COVID. It's all American made, and it's a culmination of almost 25 years of knife making expertise is what you're getting in these blades. Not to mention, when you buy one from one of the flagship stores, you get sharpening for life. So if you're in any of the cities where there are stores, added bonus. I am going to put a very large asterisk behind that statement. New West knife work policies can be found on their website, but just the fact that they want you to love your knife forever is a huge plus in my eyes versus these very transactional one and done throwaway purchases. I think most of you folks know that about me. As per usual on the channel, I'm super keen on sharing my very honest thoughts and experiences when I use knives like this. And as promised at the start of the video, I had an original choice for what I wanted to share, but I got outvoted by you folks. And that is this combo, the nine inch chef knife and this pairing knife with the iron wood handle and the inlaid design on the pin. This was my pick. So if you enjoyed this, drop a like on this video, please. So I know that you want to see a video on this pair because between the blade profile of this pairing and the way that this chef knife handles long prep lists, 
let's just say I've got some nice things to say. But the ironwood actually takes more material to sand. It's such a hard wood. Apparently that wood sinks in water. It's so dense. And so we did a lot of R&D to figure out which kind of natural wood handle, because people were like, I don't like your colors. So the colors are great because they definitely stand out. And I feel like if you're in a kitchen, you kind of want like, this is my knife. Nobody touches it. But if you want the more natural with the mosaic pen, and listen, I shouldn't really be surprised by this, but I'm going to say it. It happens with ingredients. It happens with wine. In true getting to know your supplier fashion, I wasn't attached to the G Fusion line at the start. Then I saw the whole production process. I learned more about G10. So I'm stoked to have the opportunity to showcase this one on the channel. And I know this is one of their most popular knives. And so because of that, I'm going to give this away to someone that subscribed on the email newsletter in the next few weeks or so. So even if you're watching after the fact, after the knife's been given away, I just want to share a little bit about it. It's called the 8020 Edge. I share insights on how to improve your performance at work in professional kitchens. I talk about cool gear discounts that I find, articles that are relevant to hospitality professionals, new song recommendations that I like to play when I'm prepping, plus of course new cookbooks, and it's almost like a weekly digest of things that I've published that week. I would love to be in your inbox. If you'll have me, that is linked below in the description. Plus, of course, I've got all the links for New West Knifeworks. Thanks again for that entire team for showing me around Jackson Hole, for making it possible for me to give you one of these. Links with discount codes when available are in the description. If you do end up picking something up, make sure you tell them I sent you when you check out. And of course, as always, supporting my sponsors helps support me. So thanks as always for your attention. I've got another knife video linked up if you wanna watch that next. My name is Justin Kana, and I hope you have a good one. Our, our, our actually, our mission statement is make the finest knives in the world. And, but it's not like the one finest knife in the world. It's like by category, we want to do that. Yeah. And so, you know, for me, the G Fusion, our, our kind of stock is like, it, it, in that category, it is. I mean, S30, CPM S35BN is like, is, we're, we're looking at a new one, but it's pretty much as good as it gets. The G10 handle, like if aesthetically that's great if you like it, but it is also just, it's gonna look the same in a hundred years. Totally. Like it is absolutely bomb proof. So like we, I mean, to me that's that price range is as good as it gets, but I want to have the- Up it. Actual best final knife in the world. Yeah, yeah. And this steel to me is it. Right. Like the handmade, uh, Damascus is nice, yeah. especially if it's stainless. Sure. Like non stainless Damascus for a kitchen knife that you're really going to use. Not as practical. Not so much. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where we're going with that. That'll yeah. have different handles and stuff. That's Hot. been like, kill me now, like two years. It's been like, okay, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. But. How, like, uh, how does that increase your costs? Like, is that oh pretty. Oh, God. A sheet of that that makes like 20 knives is like $3,000. Jeez. Oh, they're super spendy. Like, yeah. I think a knife will be i can't remember what we charged for the santokus it was it was i don't know maybe 1200 bucks yep yep something like that wow for a knife insane yeah but wow. it's but it's real i mean it's like if you have the means i highly recommend it <laughs> that's awesome